Hi, this is James with Northern Arizona Wind & Sun. I'm here to answer the number one RV question. How many panels do I need to have on the, or how many watts of solar do I need to have on the top of my RV to be able to run my air conditioner? And the answer to that is you probably don't have enough space on the top of your RV to sustainably operate an air conditioner without subsidizing the energy consumption with some other means. For example, a generator or um, shore power or something like that. But if you're planning on running the air conditioner for intermittent periods of time, like a couple hours here and there, then if you have a large enough battery bank and that battery bank is full, it doesn't so much matter how much solar power you have. The key here is the solar power is putting the energy back into the batteries. I mean, a typical 13,000 BTU air conditioner or 15,000 BTU RV air conditioner is gonna consume somewhere around 1,300, 1,500 watts continuously while the compressor is running. If you can generate that much energy on the top of the RV sustainably, then you're fine to run it while it's, you can continuously and sustainably generate that much energy. But to do that, you're gonna need probably close to 2000 watts of solar and most RVs will not fit that on the top of the rig. So the key is to have a large enough battery bank to where you can produce energy and offset the consumption. So if you're running the air conditioner and you're consuming, let's just say for round numbers, 1500 watts and you have a thousand watts of production from the solar array, then you're only deficit 500 watts off the battery bank. And so, you know, a battery bank that has like four to six kilowatt hours of storage could run that air conditioner for 12 hours before you really need to recharge it again. But that thousand watts of solar is not gonna be continuous for very long. You're not gonna get thousand watts for 12 hours. So that is gonna, it's gonna vary. So needless to say, if you're trying to sustainably run an air conditioner on an RV, you need a lot of power on the roof. I mean, I've done rigs with 3000 watts of solar on the roof that can sustainably run air conditioners, but they also have 15 kilowatt hours of battery banks and backup generators. And if the solar can't keep up, the generator kicks on. So there's, an, there's, there's eventualities that have to be considered when, when trying to consider that plan. But the best, best thing you can do is just try to get as much solar on the roof as possible because you're gonna need it. And invest in a really good battery bank that can deliver the power and energy needed to sustain the heavy loads that you plan on running. Thank you for watching our video. If you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe, and comment.